What's up ladies and gentlemen, it's uh, Chaji Power here to do a review for uh, Rocket Punch Army. Uh, today I have the Solo Chugokin Enegar Z. Uh, the review isn't on this particular guy, but I do feel I need to show this guy to do a complete review. This version of uh, Enegar Z is not from the manga, this is actually from the Shin Mazinga Z um, series. And this is the, the nuclear meltdown version, that's why it's got a like a scarlet red uh, finish to it, which is awesome. If you've been a long time um, subscriber of mine, you may have remembered uh, I did a quick look uh, for my Chachi Power channel. If you want, you can go check that out. What I wanted to do today is just basically do like a continuation of the re review I did before. This time um, showing you the new regular color. Now, uh, if you have followed the Solo Chugokin series or if you know a little bit about it, they did have an Energy Z before, but this does not share any parts with that. This one in particular is obviously a red color. Like I said, it's from the Nuclear Meltdown. And they've also released this one here, which is an exclusive Tamashi Nations from 2010. Now, before I get into showing you guys everything about this one, um, let's, uh, like I said, a continuation of this one, which I didn't do a proper review for before. Uh, this tends to be my favorite version of it. And I know on camera, the colors just don't come out right. It almost looks like an orangey red on my screen here. I'll try and do some color correction on the video, but it's really, you don't get any idea of what this color really looks like on video. So I'm going to try and take some pictures from my blog, but this is it. It's got a beautiful, beautiful, like literally like a, like a hot rod finish. And then you get the new, uh, the new one here. And by the way, this is a GX47 Solo Chugokin. This is the GX47N, uh, the N being normal, uh, for normal color. It's basically the same thing. Um, if you own the GX45, you'll notice it's pretty much the same bodies on each. And if you are wondering why this guy's a little taller, it's because the ankles do pull out. Got them pulled out a little bit on this one because um, I don't like the red hitting there. Uh, it does tend to chip. Thank God I haven't checked this one yet. Although, uh, just an FYI, the uh, the very edge of the leg, you'll see there's a lip. That lip is plastic, so I, they put that there, which I think is a really nice touch to avoid chipping. Uh, but you still might want to be careful. I'm just going to put the GX47N off to the side because he did cost me quite a bit more than the regular GX47. And there's really no harm in uh, doing this comparison with this other one because... Uh, they literally are the same exact figure, just different paint jobs. So I should probably go over uh, articulation. I will also go over the um, the little accessories it comes with, the little pilots, uh, the stand, and stuff like that. So since the regular color, which is not the regular color, if that makes any sense, this is the regular release, although it's not the normal color. And because he's quite a bit cheaper than the other one, I will use this one to do uh, the actual articulation and all that stuff in this review. So let's put off these little things to the side. Um, so we're going to start off with the head, since uh, that's usually the normal standard. Uh, the head, you'll see, has a neck joint there, and then also the head, the shoulders, uh, there's no ratchets there. Uh, the arms do ratchet forward and back. You do have the elbows here and the wrists. And then you got the the top chest here that moves. Uh, you do have the waist joint which moves side to side. You do have these ball jointed thighs which do pull in and out. You'll see the crotch goes down to give you uh, further articulation. You can bring the leg out further. You get the ratcheted knees, and then you get the ankles. And his arms, his uh, forearms are actually held on with magnets. And the reason for this is because it has interchangeable forearms. Now, uh, any good old school robot has rocket punch. But I'll be demonstrating that when I get to the main part of this review. So that pretty much covers the part B of this initial uh, review that I did on my other channel. Now we can go ahead and move on and look at the main piece of the review which is the normal color Enegar Z doesn't have the pilot let's put that right up here just make them look complete 
So there you go. And actually, let me just hold these side to side so you can see they are pretty much the same. You do get um, a couple of differences uh, in the head, obviously, the, the paint job. But I do like the way the eyes look more on the nuclear meltdown version than on this uh, exclusive. They're not as, uh, they don't stand out as much. But other than that, same exact sculpt. And both of these figures do come with uh, both these pilots. Each one comes with both. You get a, a pilot of uh, Tetsuya Surugi, and you also get uh, Kenzo Kabuto, which is actually Koji Kabuto's father. The uh, interesting thing about the, this design is it's actually the precursor to uh, Mazinger Z. This is uh, really what uh, Go Nagai had developed before doing the whole uh, Mazinger. But uh, this did appear in Shin Mazinger series. Uh, definitely YouTube, uh, that meltdown part is pretty cool. But anyway, moving along. Again, this is the Tamashi 2010 exclusive. It's basically, like everyone has been saying, a GX45 with Enegar Z parts. Uh, well, they both are. But um, that doesn't mean it's uh, less of a cooler figure. Is it worth paying like 80 bucks more for basically just uh, this, uh, this ramp here for the motorcycle? Different head sculpt and a chest. I mean, that's really up to you to decide. Obviously, I've bought one for myself, uh, being a big fan of this one. Um, I do still prefer the red one. I mean, the paint job is just overall killer compared to this. This just looks, uh, you know, normal, but it's nice. It's got the nice uh, weathering or shading here, the airbrush shading all around the edges, which uh, makes it look really nice. But hands down, this is definitely the winner for visual impact and paint and everything. So I only recommend this for completists. Um, if you just want a nice Enegar Z figure, definitely go for that one. Uh, I've seen them as low as uh, 25 bucks plus shipping, around 40 bucks. I guess they weren't uh, big with Mazinga Z fans. A lot of people uh, did not like the fact that this was the meltdown color, so they preferred to get this. Now, I would have thought that this would have been the regular color, and this should have been an exclusive. But that, you know, that's just me. So we're going to put these guys off to the side for a sec and we're going to get into the accessories. Now the uh, GX47 uh, nuclear meltdown color, the original color, came in its own box. Uh, but this one is the exclusive box. This is the Tamashi Nation 2010. It's got that little foil sticker. Uh, and the back is just uh, regular. Nothing, nothing fancy. But um, if we go inside the box, you get a little booklet with a negative photo of Enigra Z and it is specifically for the normal color as it says back here GX47N and you get a tray full of goodies. Uh, you'll see uh, Kenzo's right up here because uh, the one I'm using on the other one is from the GX47 and you'll see the Surugi figures missing because it's on the GX47N. I did mention Rocket Punch uh, so we're going to take a look at how that works, and I'm going to use the uh, actual GX47N for this demonstration since the arm parts do match in color. All you need to do is grab this uh, alternate piece that comes in the set, which is a spring-loaded forearm piece. This is the inner piece, and you want to grab the alternate forearm. Now, ideally, you want to use the fist for this, because that's how Rocket Punch works. But, um, you know, just to save some time and avoid having to take stuff off, uh, we're going to go ahead and use the open hand. So you pull this off. Like I said, it's a magnet. Put this one on, and it's very easy. You just pull this trigger, and it just shoots. And the GX47 also comes with a stand. His version is gold-plated. I don't know if it looks gold on camera, but this is the regular one. See, this one's uh, silver, that one's gold. And the uh, figure itself comes nestled in the almost now extinct styrofoam. Which is, a little bit is better than none. Now, if you want to get into the subject die cast, uh, these guys are chock full of it. You got the uh, whole upper chest here, you got the waist, you got the basically all the legs and the joints. So bottom line, which one do you buy? Uh, like I said before, it's very simple. Uh, if you're not looking to spend a lot and you want an awesome looking Enegar Z figure, 
the red one is your obvious choice. Um, it has hit rock bottom prices. I'm sure they're going right back up. Or you can uh, pay exclusive prices and buy the one on the right, the GX47N, which costs uh, about two or three times more than the awesome looking red one. But anyway, I'm going to turn on this uh, turntable here, put on a little bit of uh, music, and if you got any questions or comments, guys, leave them below. Bye.